Hi, there's a new article on article next B, how to build your own cinnamon minimal. So do check it out. Article next B website is all about you deciding what kind of desktop you like. If you want the Article Linux ISO, Article Linux D ISO, but also if you want to build all the specific other elements, other desktops, and there are 11 desktops in this case here, and we are gradually making also the minimal ones. So the last minimal version is this build your own ISO. It's not a complete cinnamon, does not have GIMP, Inkscape, and so on. That's why we call it a minimal one, just one browser, etc. So this video is about how not to download from source source, which will be possible in the future at some point in time, and just click on the community uh, here, Article XP Community Editions, go to the files, and then basically you will have a cinnamon minimal there. But at this point in time, it's still not 1.4 gigabyte, but two gigabytes. So it just contains a lot of software like GIMP, Inkscape, etc. Three browsers and so on. So if you don't want that and say, no, I'm going to build it myself. Uh, Eric has the scripts here and we let's, let's, let's do this together. And it's not that difficult, is it? So here it is, all the scripts to build any of our ISOs. It's all on here. It's just one download away and you can build it. So what's the procedure? The procedure is to get this thing and download it. So change the scripts, run 30. Okay, so we can minimize this or better still move it to the other screen. What you do is go to your desktop, right mouse click, open a new window. You are on your desktop, right mouse click, open in terminal, and you control shift V this thing. It says git clone. So get me everything from the internet from this URL. Well, this is the cinnamon minimal. That's it. You have all the scripts on your system. These are the installation scripts. That's the one you need to run. That's number 30. That's all you need. All the rest is for us. Management, move it to your documents, which you can use as well. But this is something specific for the beta testers, moving it to Google Drive. The Arch ISO, that's the only file that really matters. And that's the only file you need to take a look at. Let's close everything else. Let's make it bigger. And you can scroll down and say, look, Eric, I think he has something about Steam, doesn't he? Yes, he has something about Steam. So if you want to install Steam on your ISO, then that's that. It's installed on your ISO. If you want Sauerbraut and Exonotic on your ISO, that's it. Save it and run it. It's as simple as that. Just some hashtags away and then everything is on your ISO. So you decide what you put on there, but do um, learn in the sense that all these things that we've put here are Lego blocks. And sometimes we get questions. Hey, it's not working because blah, blah, blah. So that means you're missing something essential for the ISO to build or for the ISO to boot up or anything like that. So first off, try with easier applications that are not relevant to your ISO, how it's built up and how it's booting and all that. But just take Firefox, Google Chrome, Chromium, not Google Chrome, that's an AOR package, but anything that's um, on this list here and take this, the normal packages in the sense that um, you things you like to install, like uh, browsers or icon themes or anything like that. That does not have any impact on your Arco Linux system. So if you've done that, you did not change anything or you did change something, then you're going to build it and I'm gonna do it like this always because yeah procedures you know the only thing you do is run this thing and then basically if you're given your password you can walk away and have a nice dinner with your family and later on it'll have an ISO on in a particular place on your system it's going to make a folder Arch Linux B out because B is for the build and out is yeah where the ISO will be later on. Let's wait for him to kick in. So he's deleting the work folder. It means that I'm, of course, uh, I did already a build and it's a lot of gigabytes that he deleted. 
and now it's going to get uh, all the information from Arco Linux because we are using the same ISO for our builds for the Arco Linux B things, right? It's the same data, it's the same way to build. What we do is we throw out XFC of Mox i3 and put in Cinnamon. That's basically what we do, and that's why I call this more and more a Lego box, right? It's um, using and reusing elements that we use for XFC of Box i3, but not, of course, the desktop relevant blocks or Lego blocks, but the cinnamon blocks to be put later on, and you can actually analyze all that. It's already down here desktop specific that's we need what we need something to install cinnamon something to do some enhancement for nemo so we can extract tar gz etc some translations etc so but all the rest is more or less still the same it depends uh, yes we do need xfc desktop and xfe xfwm4 etc because we want to have an xfce xfce Delivery the delivery system on your ISO. When we boot up, we boot actually up in XFC and all the cinema. So right, um, like I said, walk away and wait till everything is done. So let's pause the video. All right, it finished uh, a while ago. <laughs> Was busy with other things, but here it is. What happens is we have a new Arcanix B cinnamon minimal. And moving the ISO to Arch Linux B out. So you navigate to Arch Linux B out. And here we have the one that we just created. It's 1.4 gigabyte rather than 2 gigabyte. Contains a lot less software, but that's okay, right? And you just can compare if you download Arch Linux B Cinnamon. Then you have two folders. You have this folder and that folder. And all you need to do is to see what is now the difference. Is compare. I always say melt is so powerful. This means to the right is a minimal, to the left is cinnamon, maximum, right? Two gigabytes left, 1.4 is right. Because Atom is not installed, Chromium is not installed, Firefox not installed, calculator, no calculator, GIMP, Inkscape, Praga, simple screen recorder, and so on. The list goes on. Everything that's blue is something that's not installed on the ISO, the minimal one. So yes, um, it's up to you to decide what you put on there. And that's the power of this Arclinix B ISO. So the only thing you need to do is now install it or test it out first maybe on VirtualBox and then say, okay, I need some more elements and I need some more software and then rebuild it again until you get the build you like. That's the power we give you with Arclinix B. All right.